Luke Robinson here with Sports Blitz here at Children's Harbor on Lake Martin in beautiful Alexander City, Alabama. I'm here with Ron Steele, an Alabama legend, uh, point guard for the Alabama Crimson Tide for many, many years, did a lot of great things on the Tuscaloosa campus. Ron, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Now, Ron, tell everybody why you're here today. Well, first of all, you know, everything that I'm involved in, you know, I just want to help kids. And, um, you know, basketball has given me a lot, given me an opportunity to see the world, um, meet a lot of great people. And, um, you know, these kids are inspiration to me. And if anything I can do to help, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. And, Ron, you're here basically as a part of Alabama Forever, which is an inspiration of Alex Sokols, who I'll be interviewing in just one second. And you're on the board of Alabama Forever. Talk a little bit about that organization. Well, um, when Alex came to me with the idea, it started with the, um, the storm relief. And um, my family was affected by the storm relief, so it some close to heart for me. But um, I love the, the passion that he had, the enthusiasm. He just wanted to help people. And um, anybody who's like that, you know, I want to support in any way I can. I told him I, I'm behind him 100%. Any kind of um, basketball things that I can do, anything I can do to be involved, you know, I told him I, I'd be willing to do it. That's fantastic, and, and I know that it's so important to the kids that are here, Ronald, to see a guy like you here, a guy who's still playing professional basketball. Right now, you believe you're headed to Turkey next year? Yes, sir. Yeah, going to Turkey, but um, more than anything, I think they're more of an inspiration to me, um, just being able to overcome adversity, and anybody who's followed my career you know, understands that I've had to overcome a lot, and um, any inspiration that I can give, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do it. And it's such a great organization, Alabama Forever, relatively new organization, just born, uh, so to speak. But you can check it out, al alabamaforever.org. It is a fantastic idea. It's a fantastic organization. We wish it all the best, no doubt about it. And I'll be interviewing Alex Sokol here in just a minute to talk a little bit more about it. But, Ron, let's talk about you for a second. As we said, you're headed to Turkey, and you're gonna, you've been playing in Israel. And where else have you played? Um, just Israel for the past two seasons. So I'm, I'm moving to Turkey. I'm excited about it. Um, it's a great league, great chance for me to advance my career, and um, you know I'm really excited. Are you thinking you're going to have a lot of NBA cohorts joining you over there in Turkey because of the possible lockout? Yeah, well, I, I've seen some big names. You know, they've talked D Deron Williams, Kobe Bryant, maybe. So um, it, it's exciting, you know, to, to have those guys over. But hopefully, the lockout will end soon because you know we all want to see NBA basketball. Yeah, there's no doubt about it, but it doesn't look like things are, are heading in the right direction right now for the NBA. Talk about your brother, who Andrew Steele, who's been playing with Alabama, but he's obviously not going to play this year. It's been announced, and you told me he's going to take in another interesting role with the Alabama Crimson Tide next year. Talk about that. Well, yeah, um, unfortunately, he had a, a bunch of concussions, and um, you know, in this day and age, with the with the risk and dangers involved, you know, he didn't want to risk it, and the, the coaches were great about it. The medical staff was great, but um, he wanted to get into coaching and um, Coach Grant's going to kind of give him an opportunity. You know, they don't know exactly what his role is going to be um, with the compliance issues and all of that, but he wants to help him and that's a great thing and my brother really wanted to get into coaching. So it's, it's a great opportunity. It's funny how it works out, but I think it worked out for the best. Yeah, I think so too, and this is going to be a great opportunity for him. And maybe he ends up coaching John Carroll, where you two guys were also stars, and maybe y'all can end up at the Final 48 where we call all the games. I'd, I'd love to see it. Hey, that'd be great. You know, whatever he wants to do, I'm going to support him. So um, hopefully, you know, if that's what he wants, then that'll be good. Ron, thanks so much for being with us, and thanks so much for being a part of this organization. I know it's really important to everybody in the state of Alabama that you are still so active in terms of, of helping with this charitable event. Well, yeah, it, um, it means a lot to me to have people, you know, that's, that's wanting to help, and anything that I can do to be a part of that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an honor for me to just be involved. So thank you.